Hello everyone, um, I'm back again, another episode, and this time around, I'll be taking you through the basics of budgeting. Um, if you haven't actually been following um, the series, I would advise that you go to the channel and go to previous videos so that you can um, get updated on personal finance hacks and knowledge that would help you grow and build your uh, personal um your meet your financial goals and uh, of course build your personal investment portfolio so this time around i'll be taking you through the basics of budgeting you would understand how to budget and what to look out for when budgeting and of course at the end of the day like i said this session is always practicable simplified and um, with steps that you can easily follow and take so that at the end of the day you apply it in your personal life and then you will definitely see results so i still remain onye buchiro barachi um, a financial data analyst um, in the financial industry with over a decade of experience and i specialize in creating digital products um, that is um you know tailored to meeting or solving financial needs of um, customers or like you um, so follow me as i take you through a journey of um, financial freedom now basics of budgeting what are the things that you need to know uh, when creating a budget or how do you budget i think that's more appropriate you know how do you budget um, in a previous um, session i actually spoke about um, creating a budget as a very very important um, life hack and now you might probably have a question how do i create a budget or how do i budget so i'll take you through um, very very important steps um, when budgeting first of all you need to determine your income and your expense this is very very critical and very 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 important so um, you probably have to create an income line you know a column um, where you'd identify your various um, income stream or your various source of income now in this um, um what's it called in this um plan that you are going to make please it's supposed to be exhaustive when i mean by exhaustive every single income stream that you can think of you need to capture it you know and income stream is not limited to um, salary alone is probably um, your returns maybe you have an investment somewhere even in crypto or in equities or in funds or in a mutual fund or the likes and maybe you're getting a return um, dividend or you have stocks invested somewhere and you're getting a dividend every month that of course is an income stream it could either be you know part of your income stream it could also be from gifts or donation. Maybe you are a trustee, your father is wealthy and he's giving you a certain amount every month as um, you know, an income. That's also part of your income source. It could also be your pocket money. Are you a student? You know, your dad sends you 20,000 or 50,000 every month and it's guaranteed. That could also be an income source or an income stream. So you have to first of all, categorize all your income stream, identify them and put it there. Um, sorry, you have to first of all, identify your income stream and then identify your expenses. Now, the second most important step is you need to categorize your expenses. Now, you need to break it down into non-essential and essential. You need to break it down into, you know, um, fixed um, um, expenses and, of course, um, recurring expenses. Fixed expenses, the likes of um, rent, you know, um, utilities, those are, are fixed. You probably pay fixed cost or fixed amount for it. Um, so you have to have that categorized and identified, of course, your food, your clothing, your leisure, your enjoyment. Remember I said it's very, very important to have that in your budget. Yes, yes, you need to have fun. Fun should be a budget, an expense line in your budget, very important. So you need to put all those things, categorize them under the, um, your expense uh, um, line. Of course, the next important thing is you need to track your expenses. You need to track your expenses. You need to find out what, how much you're spending, when you're spending, and you need to what, have an item line created for each of them. And of course, you now have to create a plan, a very, very important plan. And your plan is, of course, tailored to your financial goal. Let's assume, for instance, you have a savings. <clears throat> you are, probably have to pay for um, a very important exam. And because it's $2,000, you just have... Um, or maybe 200,000 Naira um, for us that is in Nigeria. And then your income stream is probably 10,000. So you have an expense of every month of um, 6,000. You know, you need to see, you see that you have to plan or make sure that how much you spend within a particular day, you stick to a budget and you have to make sure that your plan takes into cognizance the fact that you have a 200,000 um, fund that you need to make payment for. 
um, in the nearest future. So this is just an example of a spending plan that you need to have. You know, if ha knowing that would of course curtail your spending habits. That's ice cream that you are um, long you're craving for. You might realize that okay, this time around, this month, I'm supposed to cut back on this. You know, that expensive shoe that you need to get so that you belong or you look among you you know you feel among your, your sets you might have to probably take a step back and hold off until you make payment for um that uh, uh um you know um cost or fee now the reason why like i said in the previous session why it's important to have that you're paying for that exam fee not because you know you just want to it's, it's a very good investment because at the end of the day when you're certified or when you um, pass that exam it increases your employability uh um, you know, skill set or your employability level, you become more employable and then of course you increase your income stream. So these are some of the things that you need to, um, you know, um, think about. So, I mean, when you want to budget, it's very, very important that these steps are, you know, followed and um, followed judiciously. And at the end of the day, you'll find out that, of course, you would see that your personal financial life is a bit more structured and, you know, your closer to meeting your goals, your financial goals. So, like I said, very, very important to, first of all, um, identify your various income, identify your expenses, very, very important when creating a budget. And of course, two, very, very important too, you need to track your expenses. You need, sorry, you need to categorize your expenses, categorize them into um, essentials, non-essentials, fixed and, um, you know, um, recurring. And, why you need to categorize is it helps you know which one you need to reduce, which one you need to uh, you know increase, and how you need to you know play with to meet your financial goal when you're preparing your spending plan, which is the next important point, spending plan. So when you're creating your spending plan, of course, you have to alter your income and expense to meet a financial goal, a financial objective. And very, very important, note that your budget is not uh, um, fixed your budget should be fluid enough and it should be fluid because it needs to cater for increase in income and increase in expense and increase in expense so you need to adjust your budget if your budget is rigid then it becomes a problem because it's difficult for you to actually you know um, follow through and um, execute that budget so you need to have a bit of freedom you know don't make your budget rigid make it flexible and of course like i said in the previous class you need to have emergency funds you need to, in your budget you need to create an emergency fund plan because life can happen life is unpredictable anything can happen but if you have an emergency fund then you have a budget a buffer that would help you prevent yourself from being overextended so please 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 take note of all these these are like i said simple practicable um, steps that you can actually use in creating or um, having a budget i still remain on your financial um, data analyst um, friend and host and please if you have any comments you know have any feedback or any question please go down to the comment page and drop it and uh, i would love to have to hear from you and like i said please subscribe and like and also share um, this video to your friends and um, to everyone else and please turn on your notification too so that the next video from me um, you can see it thank you very much and do have a lovely day